All right, this one's a doozy. This is the one thing that course creators need to understand about protecting their methods online. This comes up time and time again because what is a course without your own secret sauce, your own personally created method for doing or learning XYZ? I'm gonna tell you the not so good news and then I'm gonna tell you the good news. I'm Maria Spear Alice, lawyer for content creators and online brands and this is the Spear IP Show. We're going to turn it into a positivity sandwich or maybe a positivity open sandwich. Start with the bad news and go with the good news. <laughs> bad news. Methods are not really protectable under copyright law. That means the overarching concept of what you're teaching in your course, that's not really protectable. You can't register that concept with the copyright office. This might be your secret method on how to create a meal plan for your family in 20 minutes a week. This might be how to be more productive. This might be how to do your own bookkeeping. Those types of things, those how-tos, those are general ideas. Now, what is protectable? It's protectable is the way you express or you teach that concept. So any presentation materials you create, the worksheets that you create, the videos you create, um, if you have a private podcast, the episodes that you, that you create, all of those moving pieces that make that concept, your own unique concept, those are the things that are protected. So bonus, here is a little sneaky way that you can protect your course content and kind of protect your method. And it's more contract law than copyright law. So when someone is signing up, they should check a box to agree that they will not use the methods that they learn in your course in their own course. In other words, it restricts them from using what they have learned in a commercial setting, in a setting where they can make money from it. That's contract law because they're agreeing when they sign up as either part of your terms of use or as part of the sign up process. It's not really copyright law, it's contract law. So I hope that helps you, course creator, to better understand how it works when it comes to protecting methods online. And I'll see you next time. Head to spear-ip.com slash quiz to learn the legal blind spot that is secretly killing your business. Not only are you going to learn what that blind spot is, it'll diagnose that blind spot and give you personalized guidance on how to fix it yourself. Again, that's spear-ip.com slash quiz.